whenever you hit the down the line, this is a section from my book, you have to shift and recover before the ball bounces on the court. That's the problem with hitting down the line. The other problem is you're going for a shorter distance and there's a tendency to miss wide for some reason because the ball is going away from you. So my rule for this is simple. Step into the court, make sure you only hit down the line if you're balanced. You step into the court, bring your body weight forward, don't miss wide. And shift to cover. That's the key. Make sure you shift to cover. Because that's tennis is a game of errors and it's very important that you cover your shot after. Even if you go backhand down the line on the return, you have to go to recover the other side of the court. And normally when I they serve the middle serve right here and you hit the return down the line or you hit a backhand down the line from this position, your forward momentum will carry you to the backhand side of the court. And so you recover for you hit the right shot after that. The key is always gonna be make sure that you recover for next shot. So when we look at this video and we look at the different shots, we'll talk about when it's the right time to hit down the line and when it's not the right time to hit down the line. Let's look at the first scenario. Line, line shot down the line, step in, don't miss wide. And we'll look at two different down the line shots. And we'll also look at the way the points played out and talk about like how to incorporate the zones and what we're doing in this match. This is a very funny point, or these two points are very funny because I'm actually striking the ball very well and my opponent likes the backhand. So it runs contrary to our simple tennis strategy of playing the backhand. And you'll see what happens, okay? And we'll, we'll talk you through it. Punish the second serve. Always try to hit your best shot in second serve. But notice he does something very funny here, right? Look at this. He shifts to his backhand to hit a return. And this is how you know, right? When you see someone move to their backhand, it means they like their backhand. Everyone else would move to their forehand, right? I go slightly body on this serve. He shifts to his backhand. When he could hit to his forehand. I shift to the forehand because we're following the same rules of simple tennis. This is a good shot to hit. This is rolling tops into the backhand, tough shot. But look how easily he picks it up and he does the perfect counter. He hits it back with a loop back to me. So when you see people doing that, time to change. I strike the ball fairly well in this sequence, but I'm not bringing my body weight forward. <coughs> and my ball is really short. Depth is a very, very most important thing. I'm gonna go to this forehand because the backhand is very good. I'm going to this forehand, I don't hit it deep enough. It does his job. He does a high loop, but he doesn't cover. He doesn't cover. Back in cross court open, but I don't execute the shot very well. That, you're gonna see this happen a lot when you have strategies. Um, I like to slice reply. It stays low, but I don't hit it deep enough. Right? He's not moving across the court far enough for me to do anything with this shot. Hits the loop. Comes over the court a little bit late. He should be on the other side of the court before the ball bounces. I hit the cross court, but it's not deep enough or wide enough. I go forehand slice down the line, but it's not the same thing, it's not wide enough, it's kind of a float. Whenever you hit down the line, you go cross court, make sure. I like to slice the forehand, especially if they have a semi-western forehand or they don't like their forehand. He hits a practical reply, cross court and down the line. Give it a good cross court and down the line, put him in trouble, ball deep. I smack it, but I smack it right back to him, and that's a problem, so he runs me a little bit more. The key is not to hit hard, the key in singles is to hit deep, right? And I'm not moving him around. So you have to balance the two shots out. Like how hard can you hit but still move the guy around? I hit this ball hard too, but I'm hitting it short and not having to move. Okay. It's a very good backhand, but it's too short. He doesn't go anywhere. And then I do something dumb right there. I hit a little bit late. That's the tendency you have when you hit down the line. When you're not positioned, you've got the byway coming forward, you're gonna hit the ball late. Okay. Now let's look at a different sort of point. And incorporate your strategies again. I like to talk to people through points. Punish the second serve. I say the same things over and over again. Punish the second serve. Make them pay. It's a pretty good return down the line, nice and deep. Forced me to hit a weak shot right here. I get the ball back deep, sorta, of, but he steps in, right? Good hard shot to my backhand. <clears throat> you always wanna go for a shot in the second serve, dictate on the point, make them move or do something. I block it. 
Whenever you hit with the second serve, when a return serve happens to me, my first instinct is to get the ball deep in the backhand to the backhand and hit my forehand cross court. On the second serve, I'm trying to hit a forehand and I'm trying to make them move. If I can make them move two steps, I'm happy. I mean, he makes me move one, two, two steps, but it's super deep. I can't do anything. Then he follows it in. That's pretty good approach. He's inside the box before I make impact, so I throw a lob. Now, if you're going to hit a backhand slam, like, I couldn't, yeah, there's not much you can do. I'm moving, my body weight's going backwards. I throw a lob. I'm in the point. I go to his backhand. Every lob should go to their backhand. A simple rule. Every lob goes to their backhand. He could have turned it around and hit a forehand here, but he's taking a cruise. If you hit the cross court, you have to come over and get your body in front of the ball. He doesn't do that, right? He has to put it away or keep it in front of him. He doesn't put it away, and he opens up the hole down the line right there. Okay. And the key for his down the line is I have a slight move in. It's very slight. I get lucky. I hit the tape. But the technique is valid. I'm stepping in. I got some by coming into court. Look, I'm stepping into court. As long as I'm balanced, I can step into the court. Court's super open. I could hit a slice down the line. I hit a solid shot. And so what you want to try to do is make sure you go for a good shot. Know when you hit down the line. Know when you're not going to hit down the line. Throw a lob to their backhand. 